so what we have here is a, uh, a pet barrier from Travel. It goes in the back of your golf. They're not universal, so you have to buy the one that goes with your car. Uh, this specifically is made for the sport wagon. It is um, sport wagons that are front wheel drive and have a panoramic sunroof. So there's a bunch of considerations in here for uh, which one they actually give you. We're gonna try to install before it gets dark outside, but let's uh, open her up and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have our instructions. This is the TDG1472. Comes with uh, those parts. And then finally we have, oh yeah, so it says here, specifically for the VW Golf 7 Estate Panoramic, um, which is a, this is a European company, a UK based company. And here's the blocker itself. So there's a hook hit, kit, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So we're gonna try to get this installed. Try to get this a five minute video, even though we're already like two minutes in probably. So um, wish me luck. Okay, here we are in the car. Let's uh, open this guy up. All right. So look at the instructions here. It says we have to roll. I'm gonna put the um, the headrest down and we're gonna bring these seats forward. There's that and there's that. The sport one has these nice poles. So we're gonna throw those right forward like this. We assembled that piece first. So this goes towards the rear. I'll turn it this way. So we got our, uh, this piece here is toward us. Make sure you can see that in the camera, what I'm about to do here. So the bar is toward us. Then we're going to hook in this guy here with the screws facing this way, just like that. So they're flush, like this. And then we have two of our A parts that go in. I'm not gonna tighten these down completely just yet. Just uh, thread it in there, get it about halfway in. Yeah, we put this in here first. So let's screw the other side in. This is probably the easiest mod I've ever done, except for possibly replacing the interior LED lights. So I'm going in the side here. It looks like this bar is actually gonna go towards the front of the car, like this. without damaging the interior too much here. Hi guys. <laughs> if this all works out though, I actually want to do this mod on my um, my golf as well. I think it fits in there. But you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to hook this side over here, unscrew it, and we're going to uh, put it up and then in and screw the side. Because I think that by having this screwed in, it's not able to go all the way in. So the final step here would be these guys here are going to hook into, it appears, sides over here and straight up. So let's see if make sure the angle here is good and then we will uh, try that out. So I'm just going to focus on this side first. So we're hooking in down here. That comes out, hook in, and then we're going to go straight up. I guess we can hook in last then, don't we? So that's interesting. Can I get... Huh, it would appear that it's not actually fitting correctly. It is on that side, but not this side, which means we need to come over a little bit. We're right in the middle there, there we go. It's weird, like it's very specific on how it can be here. Okay, that's up in the hole. Then we hook in here. 
and then holding the bottom so it doesn't slip down, I'm going to start screwing in the top. I actually moved it a little too far there, but I think I see just get this started with screws and then uh, switch to the other side. Okay, now this side, this goes in. Yeah, you got to make it really close. And, I'll, and we only have like two or three threads here, so I'm going to have to like thread the best I can. I guess while we're here, we can go ahead and tighten down these on both sides, tighten down the, uh, the threads up top and here. Okay, so I guess that works. It's just really hard. You'll see this angle here. Make sure this angle is right here so you can get a nice, uh, nice fit. If you do the opposite way, it's not going to work out for you. I think it's going to require that you thread these individually. So all we're doing now on both sides is we're just tightening down the threads. Don't over tighten, I guess, because you could potentially pull this plug out. But all right, same thing applies in here. We're just gonna reach in, make sure this is still solid, and then tighten up these. Don't over tighten, you'll probably strip it. Give it a pull test. Feels pretty solid. Let's see how this works now. I would say that's the finished product right there. So with this done, you can give us a pull. It's not going anywhere. Everything is pretty tight. Uh, I'm afraid screwing it in anymore on any of these is gonna be, when you get a little bit of feedback where you might need a wrench or something, you've done too much. Pull this button here. You still have access to, um, to put things straight through, but it's really impossible for like a kid or an adult to crawl through here. So the good thing about this is you're not gluing, you're not welding, you're not uh, stapling. Uh, or you're not screwing into the anything that doesn't already exist. So travel has made it kind of a solution that allows you to take this in and out. So maybe during the week you have it in, or during the weekend you have it in, during the week you don't, whatever works best for your lifestyle. I would say now that I have it installed, now that it's installed, I would say this is probably a a 10 minute project next time I do it. So uh yeah, I don't believe the dogs can get through this. And it looks great. Price is 180 US dollars for this setup, everything included. Uh, no screwdrivers, no hammers needed. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And this is how to install the travel dog barrier or pet barrier in the golf sport wagon slash estate for the Mark 7 platform. Thanks for watching. One last thing I want to show you guys is this does work perfectly with the um, the pull. And a lot of you guys have this to come with your cars. So um, this fits per perfectly in here. Locking still works, pet barrier still in place. So uh, if you are curious, that does that does work perfectly. And if your dog likes to be out of the shade as well on long car trips, this will work great as long as he's not a chewer. If he's a chewer, it may not work out so well for you, but it does fit perfectly even with that in place.